coverage of eight pharmacies closing each week, we investigate a potential crisis in the tonight program, Pharmacies, the new NHS Frontline. Tonight, people desperate for medication. I literally have two capsules left. After that, I don't know when I'm going to get the next one. Pharmacies struggling to stay afloat. There's a very real risk now with the, the rate of closure of pharmacies that we could see pharmacies closing in, in huge numbers. Frustrations boiling over. Uh, people threatened to stab me in the pharmacy. Uh, we've had the police called. So what's going wrong? Drug shortages, and if you're people needing to go back because of almost their GPs, it's causing more stress for the GPs, more stress for the pharmacy teams, and it's just grinding the whole system to a halt. Good evening and welcome to this night programme. It's estimated that on average, eight pharmacies a week are closing down, at the same time as patients are facing huge shortages of life-saving prescriptions. Pharmacy leaders say the industry is in crisis, and yet they're being asked to do more to take on the burden of a stretched NHS. So what's it like for those on the new NHS front line? I've been finding out. Right across the country, our local chemists are woven into the fabric of our communities. The local community can use it. You can pop in at any time to see the pharmacist. It's easier than seeing a doctor for minor things. It's a lifeline group, literally on the doorstep, the chemist. Without that in the community, you can be lost. My wife isn't too good, and it's more easy to get advice and help from the pharmacy. But what is the health of our pharmacies? Pharmacies are struggling immensely at the moment. It's a very difficult time. It's one of the most difficult times that we have ever experienced um, in our sector. 